Hello everyone, welcome back to the Let's Play Conan Exiles. Now, I'm tired. In case you can't tell, I got a pet. This is my Reaper Queen, who I've called the Rock Knight Queen, because Mass Effect. Um, she is nasty. Uh, I've only gotten to level 5, but eh, what can you do? Um, so, I have all the shrines up to tier 3. A few of them even have, um... A pre an arc priest, so I can actually create um, a protection spell or a the true name of the god. Now, some interesting things about this. First and foremost, um, creating the true name of insert god name here will destroy the shrine and the priest on it. You have to have the priest on there to create it. So you can't just go, make, close out, pull out the priest, and you're good. Oop. I hear a storm. Um, the barrier, however, does not destroy the shrine, so you're able to keep it and give yourself some protection. It's about a um, 10 by 10 block range of the um, shrine. So, if I were to cast this here, Mitra would protect pretty much the opening here. So, if I get in there under a purge, I can just go, bam, protection. Um, it takes a while for it to cast, though. And it lasts a, a couple hours. So, it's a really good thing to have for emergencies only. Um, however, comma... Explosive splash damage and poison clouds can pierce the barrier, so you have to keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I like it. Um, I did get a named archer. He is fully decked out up here. Even gave him the phoenix engraved sword from Mitra. I also uh, decked out the front door a bit. <laughs> With some uh, craftables I got for leveling up uh, Mitra's shrine. Let's look at all those lights. That's so cool. Um, over here is Jamir. Um, I was able to craft this weapon. Um, it comes with the ability Frozen Aura, which is pretty cool because it cools you down in hot areas. Uh, this is really useful if we go to the volcano area. Um, I think... Yeah. Um... There is another tier to this axe I can make. I just don't see it on the list right now. Um, oh, it's because it's a tier 3 thing. I need star metal for that. It's basically an increased version of that. Ah, sorry, itchy ear. Um, back here, we have Yogg's uh, sh uh, Void Shrine Pit. Which is pretty cool. With my priest there. Um, the Shrine of Yagsal. I did find a priest, an Arc Priest. Uh, she is not a good one, though, so... About all she's doing is decreasing crafting time. Um, I found her when I went to get more Pebble Noses. There is the Shrine to Zath back there. I put him back here because of the elevator. It's kind of like he's, you know, dropping down the elevator on a, on a silk string. I like that idea. And, uh, statues I made for him. Set statue, or set, set shrine, with his uh, little brazier. This is my, essentially, uh, alchemy um, base farm. I'll explain why. So, the rock noses uh, here, the, the uh, two silvers, oop, and the two golds will give me periodically about every 10 to 20 minutes um oop, didn't do that um either a silver nugget or a gold nugget could give me iron stone or could give me rocks so that's useful um these are two materials required to make um gold dust and silver dust to create the alchemy base the reaper queen has a 20% chance of dropping ichor or dung. Um, these are all three material, the, the three materials you need to make alchemy base. Uh, you need three 
goldstone, silverstone to craft a nugget, which will give you 10 powder. So, by the time I have enough uh, of these, I should have enough ichor, and I can make 10 alchemy bases. Um, it takes a while, mind, but it does. It works. I also rotated uh, my shrine to uh, Keto. I had to destroy it and uh, move it. Um, so I basically just gave back the manifestation of zeal, kind of. Well, I did. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. The, I, I did cheat, cheat to get these back in here. All I did was throw in um, uh, Precepts of Mitra. Which, it, this is about uh, where it was when I destroyed it. Unfortunately, I also destroyed my staff, so I had to get another one too, so. Also, um, Ivy has a new outfit. This is actually the Duketto's, um dancer's outfit. I'll show you how I got that in a second. Hi, Daedra. Um, we have the map room, all set to go, finally. Uh, this works very simply. Uh, we attune a bracelet and we can teleport to there from here. My intention is to put a um, teleport pad at the obelisk and a teleport pad somewhere around here so I can just go whomp back. Also, Daedra did survive Rot Branch. Um, apparently when I was away, he went back to passive and she just stood there. So, I crawled up behind uh, uh, him and just got her back. So yeah, that is my map room. And that's honestly about all I did off screen. Um, I did get another smithy, who is actually this one. Uh, she spawned again, so we now have... Yeah, we're good. Um, and that's about it, honestly. Been working on a few other little quality of life stuff, too. Got another priest. Or, uh, alchemist. How's this going along? I have all the materials I need to make the next, uh, fireball cauldron. I just need the base. Okay. Let's drop this off in here. Alright, my thing is full. Nice. So we'll just store this in here for now. And this is all my, uh, holy artifacts. I also have crafted, um, advanced patch kits. Alright, I think we are good to go. Okay, um, actually, hold on a second. Do I have the materials to do a call, recall? I need sacrificial blood. Do I have sacrificial blood? I did not. Alright, we're, get, we're, get, we're gonna get sacrificial blood real quick. Uh, do, 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 do. Where did I put that shit? Is it in my tools chest? It should be. There it is. Boop. Boop. Deidre. Stop. Stop. Oh, you stay there for a second. I'll be right back. Um, here we are. Okay. Um, while I was away, I did also return to the uh, unnamed city. And got me another uh, fragment of power, as well as a legendary um, repair to it, repair kit, weapon repair kit. I need at least five so I can uh, finish up my uh, tome entirely. Haven't learned anything new yet because I need dragon horns, and I need to find a way to grind dragon horns. Yeah, 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 you too. There we go. This thing's nuts, by the way. This culture, this, uh, Kajin. 
it was crafted by a concussion boosting uh, person and has the best possible bludgeoning uh, mod on it. So it is just a bomb. Plus max, max authority, which increases concussion damage again as well. Also, uh, while I was off screen, I did dick around and find out that Gustav was not spawning because he was too close to the base. Uh, specifically, my uh, elevator. I didn't realize it was the, as close as it is. So he uh, just wouldn't uh, spawn. Um, however, comma, while I was off screen, I did make sure to fix that. So he is back. And let's go kill him before we go out. Alright, let's do this. Sacrifice blood. I will at some point in time, um, just for the hell of it, show all the spells too. Once I unlock the wall, of course. As a fun side note, um, the, uh, crafting room behind me doubles as a magic pouch making too. Because, um, I need gold and silver dust to create medium tier spell, uh, spell bags. Alright, that. I'll also take these. That, that should be what I need, right? Yep, cool. Ugh, excuse me. Alright, let's store that. need. Actually, I might need this for the future, so I'll just take that with me. Okay, we're good. Follow. Let's also... Make sure this is set. I gotta decorate this place a bit more, too. Goddamn. I did find another legendary uh, weapon as well, uh, the skank. I'm like, mmm, mmm. It's a pair of legendary daggers. I was thinking about giving it to my dancer, but that's kind of, you know, that feels offensive for some reason. There we go. Thank you, Ivy. Hmm, hyenas. Alright, let's, uh, reset the time, make it daytime, or at least dawn. Oh. There we go. Alright. And thanks to this, I don't have to worry about laying down bedrolls in certain locations. I can just bamp there if I need to. Where did I put my legendary greatsword? Is it here? It is. There it is. Blade of the Adventure. That's my, uh, oh shit, weapon. Alright. Um. There it is. <laughs> So yeah, Rod Branch, um, he is notoriously difficult, so, uh, Gustav shouldn't be at that bad. I 
I'm hoping for an upgraded, uh, an upgrade to my, uh, sword for Daedra. She's been kind of having that gate guardian thing for a while. That is my hope. Doubtful we're going to grab it. Yeah, that's good stuff. Apparently 2.5 distance is kind of, uh, nuts. Make sure there's nothing else around. So it's set to uh, 1.75 distance. Which is just enough. That or the magic, uh... A magic altar was, was too much for him. Alright, Gustav, let's do this! Charge. Ah, fuck. I got rid of that gator. I'm gonna need, uh, a legendary. Whoop. Bam. Eh, I'll keep it equipped. Mother whore. Oh, that hurt. Fuck off. There we go. Let's do this thing. Yep. Technically, I could get some help if I uh, kite him up to uh, my archer. I think this is good enough. Dage is doing good. Charge, 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 charge. I am going to take some time between this set and the next set to start uh, getting some uh, food recipes. Because I think I am in desperate need of like iced tea or some shit. Something that increases my stamina. Oh boy. Bam. There we go. Um. I got skeleton key. Awesome. Take all that reptile hide. All right. That was fun. So now, since we fought, uh, fought Gustav off scre on screen, I'm gonna start grinding him later on. Oop. A love tap. Oh! Of course! Okay. So this is a weapon that will... It's basically a legendary cudgel. Um... Kali is my, uh, go-to, uh, um, companion for that type of thing. And, it's ironic considering the naming I, I went with her. <laughs> That's great. So Kali, you get a legendary. Hey. Oh, it's amazing. So, yeah, it, it won't kill people, but it will knock you down. Book out. I'm assuming. Let me read its info. Uh, let's see here. Quick level once belonged to Sergius of Krosha, who, before he became a captain, was the first mate of a ship called the Beast. Sergius had one job when the ship was in port to waylay drunken soldiers and drag them back to the Beast. For that purpose, he used the club he knew affectionately as Love Tap. Perhaps it's a combination of materials, or perhaps it was some bizarre source of straight, but either way, the club became extremely good at knocking people out. But it would not damage them beyond that. Eventually, he lost the club in a gambling den, and left half dropped out of sight. Club only deals concussive damage to enemies. Yeah. So this is basically a weapon that can't kill, but knock a bitch out. 
which is a beautiful weapon to have if you're going thrall taming. So Kali gets an upgrade. And it can break through shields. Oh, that's beautiful. Let me see it. Oh. <laughs> it looks like the Mace of Molech Ball. I love it. Alright. Uh, put this in storage for the time being. I might later on. Alright, let's have a uh, tiny hold it. <laughs> That's just a great drop. I love it. Alright, let us get the keys. Key to the arena. There's a key. Might as well grab that too, just in case. I think we're good. Excuse me. I will bring some uh, backup food. We're going to the arena again. We're, we're gonna we're gonna basically avenge what, what happened. There we go. Backup food. I need another stack of healing shit. two stacks because it, it, it got it got kind of dicey then later on make sure it's full stacks oh go yeah that should do you have gruel, right? Yeah, you do. And as a precaution, I'll bring some extra with me. There you go. Right. That should do. Okay. Alright, let's uh, break in our test, our portal. This is my first time using it. Um, that's Lost City, so we're using this one. Alright. Oh, dang. That hollowed armor actually does does work with uh, protection against corruption. I love it. Which is good in the long run because uh, we're going to be fighting some enemies with corruption damage. Alright, I'm going to try my best to avoid as much as I can. I don't want to waste healing supplies. Uh, I should have brought my pouch. God damn it. My, my uh, staff. I could have gone invisible. Although Daedra would be, uh, attacked. Alright, let's go. Next set will definitely be, uh, us doing a bit more story stuff. Heading north. Right, Daedra, you here, girl? There she is. All right. Okay, this is better. I should have brought that legendary repair kit with me. God damn it. Oh well. Cheese it. Running. Open the door. Am 
I get to a certain point, you, they'll uh, just back off. Or they should, I should say. Uh, doesn't seem that they are. God damn it. All right, fine. You fuck off. Dangerous line. Gary just keeps working on that, and I'm gonna get these guys. Charge stamina! There we go. Alright, legendary, let's go. Charge, charge, charge. Perfect, he just fucked off. Charge. I should have brought some ambrosia with me, god damn it. Increase my damage a bit. Next time, I'll also grab a dancer and uh, just have her on guard here. I mean, eventually, she'll die, but uh, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna be coming here a lot for like demon blood and shit. about this uh, great sword to make sure I understand how it works. Because what I can understand this thing does more damage over time. As I do combos. I think that's the, the, the method I need to do. I also need to read on Gate Guardian too. That, ooh, did you just... You did! Score! Info, what do you do? Uh, I cut up the, uh, the giant kings and put into the hands of one of the most trusted slaves. The employer of the war making sex. Like, who's this? Easy to wield and as such, uh, strikes with the weapon are very accurate. Okay. So what about you? In the hands of a competent wielder, this two-handed sword does additional damage with every strike. So yeah, it's just a bam 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 build up damage combo. Alright, so that's that's a nice surprise. I didn't realize he dropped this. Okay. Let's go. Also a good thing this uh key doesn't get used on uh or gets consumed on use. That'd be annoying otherwise. Uh, 
That's right, traps. Wait, I'm in the wrong direction. Excuse me, Deidre. So I'm not gonna worry about the rusted key or anything like that, because I don't think I need to worry about it too much. All I'm worried about is that arena champion on the other side of that door. I can't stick around. Damn it. Leave me alone, fuckers. Uh, hi? Would you kindly fuck off? I did see a staircase up there. So this Blade of the Adventure seems to be really good for um, builds like mine. Heavy damage and, uh, oop, hi. Combo finisher. Oh, you have a Kopesh. key as well, which is nice. Those 19 gold coins. Mm. That'll definitely, definitely be enough to give me my um, fire culture upgrade. Bars do 5, or do 10, um, coins do 5. So, yeah, that should do it. Bitch. Switch to this. Make sure we're fully healed. How you doing, Deidre? You're doing good. Top you off. So I know I can beat her. I could I could have beat her the first time we were here. I was just really out of materials for healing. So what I'm gonna do. Make sure I'm set. All right, bitch. Round two. Oh, boy. Still has like a truck. Charge, charge, charge. Oh, she has shield break, doesn't she? That's not good. Brian Deidre. I 
Oh, she's on me. Keep going, keep going. Ow. Okay. So she's not following us anymore. Damn it. Alright, so I have an idea of what I can do. I'm just not certain how well this is going to play out. So I think if I can get past her, I should be able to handle the rest of the dungeon. It's just her fucking glaive that she has is obscene. I think it's some things I want to keep. But I gotta be careful. I'm gonna try and sneak past her. I mean, the first time I was here, I almost did. I just thought I could take her. Which is way over there. I'll see if I can uh, figure out a, a build or something. I need better armor and uh, better weaponry. But these guys are no problem. I have these guys all the time over in the Undead City. Undead City. Arena Champions are. Huh. Oh, speaking of which, I did find out the, um, uh, Vanquisher of the Deep, or the Vanquisher of the, key, the, the, the uh, Borrow's Keep, or whatever it's called. It's, it's just daggers and shit. Like, eh. Exotic. Really good. If only they told me what it was made of. Or how to make it. Alright. But now that I ha also have the, uh... Oh, fuck. Um... Exotic set. Or my, uh... My, uh, Alchemy Base Farm. I should... Theoretically, be able to make some exotic shit. Where's she at? There she is. Huh. Right, so I know I can get away if I need to. Sneak past her. Go over there. Oh, 
honestly surprised I was able to get past her. Because I was, I was literally just expecting Deidre just, just to go, DEATH! And rush her. Dam down here. Why is this here? Oh, hello. Are you? <laughs> I could sneak past her this way? That is amazing. And good to know. So if I need to, if I need to get the fuck out, I have a way of getting the fuck out. That's fucking amazing. So here's the ice I was talking about uh, way back when, when we came here the first time. And black ice even. So I could use this place as a place to get uh, black ice early on. Huh. Sorry, I need a cough. Alright, let's go. Uh, I see a spider. I've yet to come across a spider that, that worries me. Ooh, that hurt. Deidre, be so kind. Ooh, hyenas, too. I have plenty of silver. <laughs> Don't really need to worry about that. Do you want those coins, though? Right, how much more time do I have on this rusted key? 47 seconds or minutes? That's fine. Hopefully. Maybe. We'll see. Ooh. A warthog down here, huh? Interesting. Where the fuck you think you're going, bitch? Don't see. The fuck was that? I am the fear. That was horrifying. I wonder if I could skip the bosses here. That'd be funny. But uh, I get a feeling that if I can't take care of uh, the arena champion, I can't take care of the big guy here. That's an arena. Ooh. Oh my god, the Draco Lich! Okay, alright. Doesn't seem too bad. Well, 
them take care of those things real quickly. Last thing I want to do is get into a fight with something like this, just to have it, uh... Have, uh, some attacker from behind. Oh, it's already almost dead. Oh, that's because this is a boss, too. Oh, boy. Uh, let's, let's take a, uh, let's take a, ju a judgment's damage output. Jade can take a good chunk out of it. All I have to do is avoid his tail whip and fire. I think I can handle it. Oh yeah. Just save stamina for uh, dodges. Especially if I get during its uh, fire breath. Oh, this. Yeah, I got this. Charge. Oh, boy. Dodge. Chug. Oh yeah, we got this. This is no problem. I get a feeling the main problem with the arena champion is just her fucking damage output from the fucking hammer. I'm assuming it uh, ignores a bunch of shit. Um, I want this. Dragon horn. Skeleton key. Legendary, give me something good. It's a brutal bastard. Hey! Rude. Right, what is your axe? 57. 53. And mine is 52. With 76 on this fucker. It's one-handed. Okay. Yeah, it's not much. Well, what do you what do you do? Uh, Space evokes legendary amount of swearing in the wielder and their enemies alike. When it strikes, it does massive damage, causing foes to curse it with every blow. But alas, it also falls apart. Constantly. Okay, so this is a glass cannon weapon. It does a lot of damage, but it's weak. Okay, but uh, it breaks easy. So I can use that, I guess, as a uh, backup. Got a dragon horn out of that, though, which is always nice. I'm good. I've only recently started fighting uh, elephants, so I'm like, mm. Speaking of which, I might make a new upgraded armor soon. Potentially.
That is horrifying. This is a stupid idea. Why am I doing this? So assumption. He is through the path with the mammoths. Oh, there's no coming back from this, is there? Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, there's no coming back from this. I, I go in, I die, or he dies. How you doing, Deidre? Ooh, you need... There you go, girl. Let's go. We got this. Right, there are traps here. Gotta be careful of that. He doesn't do much damage. He's not as bad as the arena champion, ironically enough. He still hurts. Well, he's not doing much damage, much real damage. Wait, if this is the case, then I should give this to Daedra. Because they don't waste uh, material. They don't waste uh, durability. Do much in terms of durability. You do your thing. Nope. I don't want to risk getting hit. Charge, charge, charge. You know, after the Rhea champion. I was expecting something a little more, uh, daunting for the final guy. I was trying to think I could take those mammoths if I wanted to. Alright, switch this. Unless this, this boss is like, you know... And this is just phase one of my power. I, no, I don't have reason to believe that this isn't a JRPG. I've yet to see an enemy actually have a multi-phase thing. Return to me. Let's get away from those traps. I wasn't too bad. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Okay. Raid low, Sonya. Or armor scraps. Okay. Um. Anything special? No, not really. So we have a rusted key. I don't even know which door I came out of. Oh god! Alright, so this is the rusted key. Cool. One of them. Alright, more armor 
scrap, which forest? Pff. What are these scraps for? Huh. Alright, I'll find out later, I guess. I've been getting. Ooh, hello. Warmaker Grandmaster Weapon Smith. Cool, cool. Godbreaker! Grandmaster Armor Smith. Okay, awesome, awesome. Alright, let's take a look at that real quick. So, Grandmaster. It's Armor Smith, so it'd be under here. Did find out I could look through these for this type of stuff. Rusted, okay. That's a pretty good deal. And it's not, it's not, um, oh well, yeah, it's, uh, epics. So, looks kind of cool. That's the Godbreaker, and there's Godbreaker down there. <whistles> Chilled Godbreaker, alright. We also unlocked Grandmaster? Which I'm assuming is going to be a weapon type. Warmaker. Ooh, I like to look at that blade. All right. What was that Grandmaster thing I got? Let's take a look at that one. Grandmaster Armor Smith. Okay. Grandmaster Weaponsmith. So let's uh, look through here real quick. Grandmaster. Here we are. Master Armor Blading. Bolt. Hmm. So it's better tool output. Oh, it's the Master Geek level shit. So it's like the creme de la creme fuck you upgrades. Nice. I'm assuming this is the exit. I'll be back for that champion eventually. Can not? I guess if I can head back to that uh, mammoth cave. Because there were chests back there, but I was like... Mm. Nope, I can't. I have to go back around. That's just a bit disappointing, but eh, what can you do? Alright, though, but we got pretty much what was uh, here. Uh, the only person that survived our wrath is that giant behind the, fr the frozen wall and the arena champion. Which I can deal with uh, on my own time. Oh, hi. I'm gonna look to see if I can make some better epic level tier gear. But, thanks to the fact that I got that fucking. all this fucking gold, <laughs> I can definitely make uh, all the shit I need. Well, not all the shit I need, but some shit. Awesome!
Fuck that arena champion and her fucking armor, though. Damn. Alright, though. We're going to call it here. I'm going to uh, bomb rush it back to the base. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed me finally conquering this fucking place. Still curious about this, though. I'm assuming it's materials to make what we need. But, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the set. I'll see you guys next time. We'll continue from here. But till then, as always, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.